Welcome back to the channel where I go and actually tell you my recommendations up front and then I go and actually give you my reasons afterwards. So maybe you'll stay tuned. So today I'm going to go ahead and actually review Rebel Ridge on Netflix. Now, if you are a target audience for this, meaning that you're into a crime action drama, kind of like that stranger comes to town kind of movie, I'm going to go and actually say that you add it to your must watch playlist. Now, if you're a casual viewer, none of those other genres really speak to you, but you're trying to see if this is something that's worth watching. I'm going to say that you add it to that playlist that you go ahead and actually add when you have nothing else to watch. So those are recommendations. Probably curious how I got there. So go ahead and actually stay tuned and I'll break it down for you. Not get back up. It's gotten out of hand. People are getting hurt now. So Rebel Ridge is a crime action drama that premiered on Netflix in September of 2024. It has a runtime of two hours and 11 minutes, and it stars Aaron Pierre as Terry Richmond, Don Johnson as Chief Sandy Byrne, and Anna Sophia Robb as Summer McBride. Now, IMDb has a story like this. A former Marine grapples his way through a web of small town corruption when an attempt to post bail for his cousin escalates into a violent standoff with the local police chief. Nothing too complex on there, but there could be some intrigue there. Now, before I watched this, I went ahead and actually had the perspective of like, this is kind of like giving me that uh, feel of like some of the Rocks movies, like uh, The Rundown or Walking Tall. And there's also kind of like uh, the Denzel Washington Man on Fire, those types of ones where it's just like, hey, him against the world and all that kind of stuff. Um, also, we have like an ex-military dude that's just trying to do the right thing. And then he runs into like the worst kind of cops or what have you. These are this isn't like a new trope or anything like that, but that's kind of like the feel I got for it. So those types of movies are usually hits for me, uh, even if it's not particularly great. If you have good casting or you got a different decent story or even some good action, those are going to be the types of movies that really go and actually resonate with me. So I'm going to go and actually say that I'm a target audience for this. The reason why I give you that perspective is that I think you should always know what perspective that reviewer is coming from so that you can kind of gauge on that recommendation that they give you. OK, so hopefully that goes and actually fives with you a little bit. For me, I go ahead and actually watch brand new streaming content, content that's exclusive to the streaming services only to go ahead and actually see if it's worth your time. If you like how that sounds, do me a favor, click like, share, subscribe. And now let's deep dive into Rebel Ridge. So after I watched this film, it kind of confirmed my whole aspect of things. It is very much like uh, Walking Tall was very much a comparable film to it. But the main character didn't have the attachment to the town like the character did in Walking Tall or what have you. So I'm also going to go and actually say there's um, a little bit of like Assault on Precinct 13 kind of gave me a little bit of that vibe or Man on Fire. So those are some of the elements from other movies that you can kind of really wrap your head around on where the motivation for this particular movie comes from and like a, a general feel for it. The way that I go ahead and grade this out, I go ahead and actually do two things. I'm looking at storytelling, I'm looking at the acting to kind of give my, my recommendations. So for the storytelling for this one, I'm going to go ahead and actually say it's about a B minus. The first half of this movie was excellent for me. The pacing, while it was slow at points, uh, was very tension driven. It kind of ran with it, really ramped it up, knew what it was doing. The narrative and motivation was good and all the characters made sense and they were moving in a way that I really wanted to go ahead and actually see where is this going? Because the way that they were working it up was like real smooth. I was really liking it. And then just about the middle of the movie, it switches and becomes a different movie as far as like motive and the style of movie. And don't get me wrong. The movie as a whole uh, was better than your average uh, action movie. Just a little bit uh, better than the average action movie. But that's large in part because of the beginning portion. The second portion kind of uh, took a little bit of backseat. The reason why is because we kind of moved the target of like what motivated the main character and what was going for that and we actually even moved it a couple times even in the second and maybe the beginning of the third act where you're just like okay what are we doing uh anymore here and it kind of makes it anticlimactic if you go ahead and actually shift the, the, the motivation too many different times it kind of makes it uh just it's just a different feel of a movie the action when it does happen it does feel very cathartic and it's well deserved so it's not anything that it's not going to be action packed, but there is enough action in there that when it happens, you're like, OK, cool. And it was pretty uh, realistic, strategic. You kind of understood it. So I liked it from that aspect as well. The latter half of the movie's action goes a little bit too like action hero. -y. Yes, I'm going to say that that's absolutely a verb. Yep. This action hero. -y. 
Um, and it's a little cliche or what have you kind of build ourselves up to be, you know, a little bit of Rambo esque type of deal in there. So when you go ahead and actually put that in there and then there's about 15 to 20 minutes that you could probably cut out of this film to make it more condensed, make it a more cohesive story. That's not a slow pace, what have you. There's just some problems there with the storytelling that I'm going to go and actually say it's a B minus still still solid, but there's definitely some noticeable gaps in there for acting. I'm going to just say a solid B. I had never heard or seen Aaron Pierre before this, but I think his presence in this movie will really kind of help him going forward. Uh, he can convey calmness and menacing at the same time, which was really needed for this character. They limited his lines and, and delivery and things like that and just left a lot more into like his presence and gravitas in there, which I think really helped uh, his mystique, especially in the beginning of the film. Now, my guy, Don Johnson, is going to have to be careful. He's been playing some old, privileged, corrupt, evil, and sometimes racist people a little too well for like a decade plus now. And it's just crazy that my guy goes ahead and actually do it. He's playing him well. Don't get me wrong. Like, he's really putting into it. But I'm like, man, that's not the role. I don't want to be typecasted in. But he plays it very good. And, and that was a solid one. Um, the actress, the main actress in here, Anna Sophia Robb as Summer McBride, was kind of like a give or take for me. Most scenes, she was like pretty good. And sometimes she was actually, you know, sometimes she was like, okay. Uh, there's other times where she was kind of like underwhelming and just really didn't kind of resonate with me. There were a couple of good supporting cast members in here as well. Overall, I think there was a good job done in the acting and, and the casting aspect of it. But there were some where you're just kind of like, eh, some people were mailing in. There's some other ones that really kind of played it to the hilt. So I think a solid B for the acting for this particular for this particular movie. So my final thoughts on here is just rounding it back to my main target audience members. You want to go and actually add it to the must watch playlist because while it's not big on the action scenes, it's good when they, they come in there and you're like, I'm ready for it. The first half of the movie will kind of really have you ready to fight at various different times, ready to go. And the movie does a good job of amping you up and then calming things down. And the tension is excellent. Now, I don't know if the ending will satisfy most people, but the journey is worth the lackluster destination. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Now, for casual audiences, I'm going to go and actually say, you know, you, you put this for like a rainy day afternoon type of playlist. Like, it's not a spectacular watch for a casual viewer, but some of the performances and the subject matter will intrigue you. And if you have someone that's a fan of those types of movies and you're trying to be like, hey, I got a film that we both can go and actually watch, this is going to be one that you want to go and actually throw on. The last thing I will tell you, this is like a trigger warning for anybody, is that if you have like if you have any aversion to like uh, uh, racist interactions or things like that within, I think I want to say the first like 10 to 15 minutes of the film, that could kind of be a warning, what have you, if you have that type of aspect of it. The rest of the film doesn't really have anything that I would go and actually say really stands out, but those first 10, 15 minutes kind of is intense or what have you. So uh, just fair warning. So that's what I actually have for Rebel Ridge on Netflix. Check it out. So I was thinking, what if we just walk away? Well, now you're starting to talk. I was like, nah. You stay for the entire review. I appreciate you. You're the bomb. Do me a favor, click like, share, subscribe if you like anything that I had on there, if you want me to continue to bring you these reviews. And if you don't, hey, give me some comments on the bottom. I'm always good for a good constructive feedback. But either way, um, if you liked any of this, go ahead and actually watch one of these other reviews that I have on the channel. Algorithm seems to think that you might like this one. Um, but until the next time, I'll holler at you. Take care of yourself. Now that's a happy ending. Or is it? Because everything's over now. And all that's left is you and the infinite void.